I you know, have looked at, at different areas in the rare disease world and seen so much potential for collaboration where there is no need for competition between companies or, and collaboration with patient organisations who really understand the disease and understand the impact of a disease and the potential of new treatments. So we're here in Barcelona for the 8th World Orphan Drug Congress and we're using this opportunity to launch Project Hercules which is a truly groundbreaking collaboration between Duchenne UK and five pharmaceutical companies. I think what's so exciting about Hercules is not only the body of evidence that we will be building together collaboratively but also the fact that we have these two incredible women, Josie Godfrey who used to work at NICE and Fleur Chandler whose son has Duchenne. Uh, I'm uniquely placed to really create and, and help deliver Hercules um, because I have a Duchenne mum's heart so I absolutely know what's important to the patient, what's important to the family but I have a uh, health technology assessment head. Um, I've worked in the pharmaceutical industry for over 25 years and most of it in um, the health technology assessment space and health economics, but prior to that in clinical trials. I'm director at JG Zebra Consulting, but before that I set up the highly specialised technologies programme at NICE. It's really trying to make decisions for the NHS on which products, treatments for very rare diseases are the best use of NHS resources. And what they're looking for is the value. So they're really looking for what's the value of this medicine, how do you articulate the difference in an endpoint to what's meaningful for patients and for families and is it worth paying for. The problem here is that it can cost companies up to half a million pounds to develop this evidence. It's time consuming, it's complex, it's complicated and often companies, especially smaller companies who are developing drugs for uh, diseases like Duchenne, don't have the infrastructure to be able to engage in this process. So they basically get their drugs approved and then they realise they have a whole other mountain to climb. What we want to do is try and create a pathway up that mountain. I've never seen companies come together in this way. It's a win-win-win situation for me, so actually this should be to the benefit of health technology assessment agencies, health care systems, to patients and to industry. It's been fantastic to work with an organisation, a patient organisation, who's been able to grasp the importance of health technology assessment. It sounds really dry, it sounds like a distraction from the importance of research, but if we don't have the products reaching the patients, all the research in the world won't help. This is just excellent. So congratulations.